White lives in Elk Grove and says when he sees the Confederate flag in a store window or printed on clothing, he oftentimes does not think people acknowledge the story that comes along with it. The slavery side of it, the entire story of um, the lynchings and all these things that are connected to that, um, it must be said. White says he doesn't wear or fly the Confederate flag because it's not something that brings him interest, but understands not everyone's views align with his. Be willing to embrace the entire story of the history of that flag. Be willing to embrace the entire story. And if you are comfortable with the entire story after that, more power to you. But don't walk into it uninformed. Sacramento historian Marsha Eyman says the Confederate flag was made in the 1800s as part of the Southern Rebellion against the United States. And that, that deep, deep racism that's part of slavery is so much a part of that flag and what it represented. The flag's ties to slavery is why Eyman says many people find the flag offensive. But to this day, people living in southern states hold on to the loss of the war and see the flag as a symbol of their pride. That anger and frustration is still there. It's a sign of rebellion. It's a sign of their rights. But now we are in 2020. For some people, it's just a nostalgic piece, and for others, it represents repression and slavery. Although the way people may view it may change, the history behind the Confederate flag will always remain the same. And we have to start looking at those symbols like the flag that are there all the time and what do they really represent and how, you know, and starting to pay attention to that.